What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today we have another collection video for you guys. I just got out of Sam's Club, have all my product here in the back. Uh, was just about $200 worth of candy. So most of my locations aren't gonna need a ton of candy, but the next time I service them, they will. So I figured I would uh, go ahead and get stocked up now. Uh, but then there is a few locations I'm gonna hit. Uh, a lot of the ones I'm going to today are some of my slower locations that have been sitting for two months or one month, uh, but I don't expect a huge collection today. But we're gonna go ahead and hit a couple machines and see what we can bring in. All right, here I am in Sam's Club. Got to pick up some peanut M&Ms and then go down the rest of the candy aisle. Next, I got to grab some uh, M&Ms, the milk chocolate ones, some Reese's Pieces, and some Skittles. And then I just ordered some gumballs online uh, just the other day. Go ahead and get that. Now we're going into the first location. Uh, this one's usually pretty decent usually pretty happy with the results here it's not a great location but it's definitely a decent one so go ahead and uh, get it all serviced up taken care of and good to go and another funny thing about this location is that the uh, the gumballs actually sell twice as good as the peanut M&Ms so usually there's about a good well, actually, even more than that, usually there's about a good five to seven bucks in the peanut M&Ms, and then actually more like uh, 12 to 15 dollars in the gumballs. I believe it was like 16 dollars in the gumballs this time around. So, pretty funny how that is, considering peanut M&Ms usually sell way better for me, but for whatever reason, in this location, gumballs are what is selling. Not bad. Uh, this location is always pretty decent. Uh, it's usually right around 20 bucks every single month. So pretty happy with that. 21.85 this time around. So pretty consistent location, usually good for about 20 bucks. Very happy with that. Now uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so here I am at the next location. This one's been here for about two and a half months, but I've this is going to be the third time I'll be collecting it, and it always seems to do pretty well. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is generally I will not advocate putting the canisters on the ground like this. However, in this scenario, the first and second time I went to service this machine, uh, I asked if I had a table or anything I can put them on, and they said to just go ahead and put it on the ground because they really don't care. Uh, I said, are you sure and all that, but they seem to be uh, totally fine with it on the ground. Go figure, I guess some people just don't care, but like I said, definitely do not put them on the ground unless they explicitly tell you to, uh, like in this scenario. Um, get it all set up. Uh, one of the little uh, things that turns the wheel on the canister uh, was a little bit messed up so I had to fix that uh, while I was here so this stop took just a little bit longer than normal but really not by much and I always test all the coin mechs to make sure they go in right uh, and they're working just fine uh, go ahead and fill everything up got the Reese's Pieces that I fill up definitely the best seller at this location uh, peanut m and is probably a very close second and then the M&M's that I am filling up in just a second. Yep, here we go. Uh, they usually sell pretty well as well. And then the Mike and Ike's do okay. All right, not bad. Uh, that location that I just went into had 32.25 in it. Not quite as much as I was hoping. Uh, last month I had about 40 bucks in it, but still 30 bucks for a month on a location. Definitely nothing to complain about. Uh, now I'm about to head into the location. This is my first time going to collect this location, so really not sure what to expect. All right, just got out of there. Uh, the product was pretty full still, and the thing is really light, so I'm guessing it's probably less than 10 bucks in there, but I'm gonna go find out. All right, only 525 in there, counted it up real quick. Uh, pretty bad for a month, especially considering it's like candy and not just gum. 
so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this location for now I'm just going to leave it there for three months and go collect it again uh, while I think about what I want to do if I want to pull it I'll probably I guess maybe switch it out for a single head gumball not really sure uh, definitely don't want to give it up just because it is a location I have a plenty of machines so I think that's probably going to be my best bet switching it to a gumball machine but we'll just have to see all right 1025 in that location uh, that was for two months, which isn't really that good, but considering it's just a single head gumball machine, I don't mind too much because uh, the product lasts for a really long time with gumballs, so I can kind of just have that one chill out there and slowly collect money for me and then go every three months or so to uh, pick up about 15 bucks, hopefully. All right, just pulled up the last spot for the day. Uh, this one's been here for about two months since the last collection, so... Uh, pretty excited to see how much is in it. Uh, normally this one does anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks a month So hopefully we'll be right around that 30 40 dollar mark. Uh, that would make me pretty happy No? I'll switch them out next time. I don't have any more gumballs with me today. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. So that's kind of unfortunate. It only had a fifteen twenty-five after commission. So not too happy with that, especially considering it was like two months. Oh well, still a location. Um, just not going to be checking that one every month uh, probably checking that one every three months from now on uh, now they did say that uh, they didn't like the seedling gumballs as much and that they don't think other people do either uh, which is kind of funny because I thought they would sell better but apparently not so next time I come I'm definitely going to switch those back to the original gumballs because I was using seedling gumballs before Oh, sorry, I was using regular gumballs before, then I switched to the seedling gumballs, so now I have to switch back to regular gumballs, which is totally fine with me because I plan on phasing out the seedling gumballs out of my route entirely anyway, so they're just kind of here until uh, I go through them all. Just got back home. Uh, I'll show you how much we made uh, in just a second. Um, not really feeling that great today, a little bit under the weather, maybe a little bit of a head cold kind of got a scratchy throat so sorry if I'm not like super upbeat like I normally am in this video just not quite feeling a hundred percent um all in all I'm pretty happy with the collection uh, it's definitely going to be over a hundred bucks altogether so not bad uh, I did spend 170 or 180 dollars uh, shopping for product today uh, now keep in mind that's not what I spent from just these machines I probably only put like 20 bucks worth of product into my machines uh, today, maybe 25 because most of them were pretty good already. Uh, this is more to have uh, myself ready for next time around. So I'll go ahead and flip over, show, show you guys what we did. All right, so this is what I collected today. Uh, not bad, definitely a nice little collection here. Uh, and then I do have about 20 bucks from a collection that I did just the other day. Um, go ahead and put that over there so I can keep it separate. So I can uh, give you guys a recap on how much I made just from the collection today. Uh, now the one over here, uh, I got a call saying that the mic connects were out so I went over there and serviced it. And since I was there, I just went ahead and uh, grabbed uh, switched out the coin banks and uh, collected what was in there. So let's go ahead and count all this up and find out exactly how well we did. All right, so right here is what we collected today. Uh, 100 and then five, 50, 60. A couple nickels and a few of the machines. Not gonna complain though because uh, the ones that have nickels in them have dropped through coin max, so it doesn't dispense anything it's just free nickels for me but anyway i still have this to count up over here so gonna go ahead and well i did count that up already actually i'm just gonna go ahead and roll it up it's right around 20 bucks uh so that'll put me right around 
$500 for the month so far from all of my machines. $370, I believe, from the last collection, plus $100, $470, about $500. And then I still have uh, to hit all the barbershop locations. So hopefully uh, I can pull another 100 or two out of all of that for a total of about six or seven hundred dollars for the month gross that would be pretty awesome but i'm going to go ahead and roll this up real quick and i'll catch up with you guys in a second all right got all that rolled up too uh and uh pretty happy with everything all together like i said got one more collection run to do oh look missed a quarter but anyway that's going to just about wrap up this video uh, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And then hit that subscribe button as well if you have not already. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that about the vending business. Or, you know, just encourage me to continue making these collection videos. Really do appreciate every one of you. Anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.